So for the past, gosh, 50 plus years, our family's been coming to Atlantic Beach, really ever since my dad was a little boy. It's kind of been my sacred place. It's where I've always came to rest. When I got off tour, gosh, it was the first place that I went to. I always wanted to come here because it's, for one, where I felt closest to God, but also where I felt grounded the most. So I knew I had a niche in planning events early on. Started in high school and then it transferred into college. Right when I was graduating college, I'd gotten a call from an arena football team in Duluth, Georgia, who asked me to come actually run their venue. I got to see everything from how do you build out a tour for an artist that goes out on the road, what do they do to get all the prep work, and it was two weeks for me to be able to work with the top people in the industry from working with the production teams to the laborers, top promoters in the industry from Live Nation and AEG who were working with artists like Bruno Mars to, gosh, Garth Brooks, Kenny Chesney, um, all of them just poured into me over those years and honestly helped develop me into the professional I am today. So you fast forward through all these different seasons of my career. I had been at the arena, I had gone to convention center. I left and I moved to Nashville, taking a leap of faith to expand my experience on the road. And I kept having these visions over the years. I can remember back, it's gotta be, about 13 years ago, I was standing in the arena and we had Paramore that night. And I had a vision of me standing in this space and producing this, this big concert. And every time I had it, it was almost like I was getting a little bit closer to that calling of what that purpose was. You fast forward back to 2019, just had my biggest year on the road with different artists. Remember I came here to kind of just rest after and I was sitting on the beach and all of a sudden that vision came to life again. And I had this vision on this event and I knew exactly where I was supposed to be. All of the whys, the what's over those past 13 years finally came to full circle. And we were just about to announce this big event that was gonna be down at the circle. Gosh, it was a $1.5 million project that I literally had sold my house in Atlanta for. I'd sold all these assets. All these variables were just about to happen, then COVID hit. The pandemic is leading to more cancellations. Atlantic Beach is taking additional measures to flatten the curve. It's been two months since PNC Arena held its last concert. The organizers have called off the annual Music Beach Festival in Atlantic Beach. It was crazy because, you know, I had invested, gosh, probably half a million dollars at that point, and I was just at this amazing amount of peace. I feel like the Lord was saying, just, just wait, I've got something better. Two months later, literally, my mom called me. I was on the way to Atlantic Beach for our 4th of July family trip every year that we do, and she called me. She said, Jess, you're not going to believe this, but the cottage is on sale. And as soon as she said it, I knew what we were meant to do with it. We put the offer in as soon as I got there, six months, banks thought we were crazy. They're like, you want us to give you a loan for what? To buy an event venue in the middle of COVID and you know, 1.75 million, like in the middle of COVID, are y'all crazy? And I just remember telling banks like, look, this is something the Lord's placed on our hearts. Like it's gonna happen whether you're a part of it or not. People couldn't wrap their mind around it. It's something that's never been done before. How do you take this, what looks like a giant beach house and transform it into a music venue. So here at the cottage, we do concerts different ways. We do, first of all, shows that are out on the deck that are real up close, intimate and personal. So you're getting those artists ground level with you, literally as if it's like on your back porch. We only sell 225 tickets to that. So that's our real up close and personal experience. But the whole vision for the cottage really was to take that event lot next to it and transform the whole property into this small, intimate music venue where you're seeing a big artist like 
a Darius Rucker or a Maggie Rose for only 500 people. So last year we ended up having Larry Flate here at the cottage and Larry actually ended up playing at the cottage on Friday and then two days later went to Wilmington and opened for Darius. And uh, I remember walking into the back of the Wilmington's backstage area and as soon as I walked backstage, all of Darius's people were like, Jess, we've heard all about the cottage from Larry and his team. They had, they had such an amazing time. Tell us about it. And so I was telling a little bit about the show and kind of what we've created. I had not seen his camp in about three or four years. And Darius had finally came in the room and he was like, Jess, where have you been? Why have you not been on the road with us? I told him, I said, yeah, I, I bought a venue in Atlantic Beach. He was hooked. He was like, wait, what? Jess, why don't, why haven't you asked me to come play? Darius was catching a plane that night and he said, look, call me. Um, let's talk about this. And um, so after the show, we're all leaving and he texted me and he's like, hey, look, I'm serious about the, the cottage. Let's talk about this. Let's figure out how we can make it happen. So I woke up the next morning to a text message at 5.30 from him and said, hey, send me all the details on the cottage. We're making this happen. We're grateful for y'all. Guys, who's ready for Darius Rucker? Let's do it. So here at The Cottage, our core values are to create memorable experiences, serve and care for others, impact our community, and be a light. Our whole purpose and our whole vision really came from when I was out on the road with big artists like Darius Rucker, those artists who really take care of the people who take care of them on and off the road. All these relationships that I've built over the years, I remember my parents always tell me, when you're good people, they'll be good to you. And I've really gotten to see that in full circle when we created The Cottage. Artists are excited about what we're doing. Managers are excited about what we're doing. We get calls every day. That's the culture we strive to create here. It's an opportunity for everybody to feel poured into. For these artists to be able to take care of all their team members, the people who work for them in the office, on the road, at home, their families. How do we create this destination spot for them to be able to pour back into the people who take care of them? That's putting them in houses in the neighborhood so they feel a part of our community. That's being able to let them go fishing on the, on the beach or walk up on the pier and go fishing or maybe going out on a charter. How do we create these opportunities for them to be able to have that rest while being able to do a show for our community? I don't wanna hold on to somebody